I'm going to explain about how to create spreadsheet modeling and analysis. So we have a couple of files. These are the data files and DTP corporation that I'm just going to open this file today. So as you can see, uh, so there are some advertisement expenditures. For example, the $50 and if there is a $50 expenditure on the product one, then the profit will be 53.89 as you can see that advertisement expenses are going up and a little bit changes in the profit is also you can see here uh, this is product one and this is product two in the, in the product two if you make some advertisement expenses then you will find that the profit will also change um, most probably is going up and down a little bit here now the question is what will be the effect of multimedia advertisement or media advertisement on the profit so I have already created some scatter chart this one and this one and on the basis of this what I did for example that advertisement budget in total for example this is the $500 and I have changed this 370 and 130 so total budget of this company for the advertisement for all the products that we have today is it uh, product one and product two so five hundred dollars three seventy is on the product one and one thirty is on the product two so accordingly so the profit model that I have created here with the help of some equations how to create all these equations this one and this one for the product two and both these equations that I have put it here in this formula and after then I decided if I spend $500 as expenditure on these two product I will have a profit of 78.49 so this is how we can calculate let's say I change from $500 to $600 and uh, in this case uh, for example I divide the, pro divide the advertisement expenditure on product 1 and product 2 400 and 200 if I put 400 is for the product 1 then profit will be 56 and 200 then the profit will be 22 a total of these two will be 78.76 if I say I spent $700 and I want to like uh, for 350 350 or if it is equal even then that we will see this is this will be the profit so profit is going to change if in case I go with like let's say $200 on the product 1 and $500 on the product 2 the profit will also change so now on the basis of this that we can take some decision let's say it's a $300 and the profit will be 77.66 right so this is the one model that we have created now how this has happened and uh, how we can create these equations so first of all I'm just going to delete these two scattered chart so starting from the beginning uh, we have this information ready and we want to uh, create equation the first is uh, first step that we want create a scattered chart for the data how to do this one insert and chart so go to insert and we have a scattered chart and here we click on this and then scatter chart will be created but now we don't find any data here why because we did not select it so first of all that we need to select this data click on the scatter chart and scatter chart will be ready now in this case uh, read this information once again you will find that we need to find out and uh, select logarithm functions so logarithm functions is available in the trend line so how to do this one look at this click on the plus sign trend line click on the trend line click on the arrow right arrow here a greater than sign go to more option the moment you go to the more options logarithm that is required in this case click on the logarithm click here on the line linear and delete it and we have this uh, 
uh, logarithm so click on this and the logarithm that you will find what we want i want to make uh, equations so scroll a little bit down display equation chart and you will find here the equation chart available this is what we have done we have done this one for the product one now the product two exactly the same way and go to insert scatter chart click on the scatter chart this will be for the product two i'm just moving a little bit down so that you should be able to see it clearly right so this is for the product two now click on the plus sign trend line get in the sign more option logarithm click on the line linears deleted click on this one then you will find the logarithm here and display equation right so cross this one you have these two scatter chart ready so now why we have created this scatter chart and what are the use of this by creating this scatter chart it will show the relationship between the profit and the advertisement and this is the algorithm that we have here so in this way if the company is going to spend uh, some advertisement expenditure and it's increasing slowly slowly here from this from the 50 to 100 to 150 and so on and there is an increase in the profit as well how this is increased sometime it may be in the dots you can see the dots are just uh, scattered here here and there but if you have just a line here then you will be able to see this algorithm now we have this uh, y is equal to 1.1568 i can show you like this look 1.1568 ln x so what is ln here ln is here that shows the natural logarithm of any number right now we have two equations ready now next step is just right here the same thing that uh, that is available uh, i'm just going to write here pro product one product one profit right so product one profit i am writing here but before this i just would like to go with this is the product one i say so for the product one i i have this information i'm just going to paste this equation here this is the equation that we we have found and it is automatically created when we have created the scatter chart now how to calculate the profit just a simple put a equal to sign i'm just going to enlarge first and let you know uh, before this one what i want okay i cut and paste a little bit down and here i just write to enter advertisement budget right so like this we have this advertisement budget uh, for example uh, Advertising budget is uh, five hundred dollars, and here advertisement is required in the organization on product one and also on product two, right? So product one, how much? For example, uh, if this is three hundred dollar, and the rest of the money will be allocated for making advertisement for the product too so this is uh, the information that we can enter and we can take decision accordingly so 300 dollar will be spent on the product one and 200 will be spent on the product two and how much profit that we will earn by making advertisement this is the decision that we want to make now product one that we have this equation for the product two for product two profit we have another equations that we can find here this is the product one that we have copied here and this is the product two so product two equations that i have copied and pasted here 
no look at this we have these uh, two options right now here i'm just putting as equal to sign why is the profit here so why is the profit is equal to 1.1568 multiply ln bracket open x is the number x meant for the product one x is the number which number 300 in this case bracket close plus sign 4 mine point six triple nine and enter so if in the organization company spend three hundred dollar on the product one then profit will be generated fifty six minus two nine seven one I can make it to uh, two digit numbers right and second here again for the second product we have equation ready so 0 0.4177 multiply ln bracket open and 200 is for the product 2 advertisement plus 19.913 and enter so total if you make a total of all these the total profit will be Profit from the product one plus profit from the product two, right? So we have the profit ready, seventy-eight point four two. So this is what what we have done. On the basis of the information available, we can make some decision. Let's make some little changes. If I change from the five hundred to let's say three hundred dollar total. And here I, I want to spend 200 on product A and 100 on product B. So the net profit will be 77.68. So this is how we have created one model. And on the basis of creating this uh, spreadsheet modeling, and we are able to make analysis and decision by implementing these uh, techniques.